Jesus. Okay. So we're alive going cross country. Hopefully you guys are getting this alright and you're getting some sound. Let's see how this goes. Just flying cross country in the UK. Doing, uh, you, you can see the South Downs. South Downs way at the moment. And uh, let me know in the chat comments if you can hear the sound okay. So it's going to be um, a little bit rock and roll best. That's a view from where we've come. That's and this is the south coast of England. And uh, a bit more level there. That's about the best that I can do. And I'm trying to just maintain my height. Um, it's a reasonable cross country day actually quite a bit of a base wind and uh, quite so really good spring conditions really um, really cold upstairs I've been getting up to sort of five and a half thousand feet so I don't know if it's out, um, and it's definitely minus something up there it's crispy so, I'm, I'm sort of shivering a little bit as I'm going along which has helped me to keep me warm, I suppose. And, um, otherwise, once I'm in a definite thermal, I can set things up a little bit better. Uh, for now, I'm just searching, which means sort of parking into wind, and uh, trying to fix something up. Let me know if that's any better on the sound now, guys. Uh, I've just changed something. And, uh, um, yay, does yay mean sound good? Very good. Okay, brilliant. Right. Sorry about that. It's all a little bit uh, <laughs> ropey here. Um, and I'm sorry about the picture as well. I'm, I'll try and let me see if I can do a better position for you guys. There we go. If we just handheld, um, we can maybe make it a little bit smoother for you guys. Woohoo! But you can see the conditions are a little bit sporty. So um, don't worry if I drop the phone. Uh, it is tied on. <laughs> you won't fall to the ground. But um, 
I'm trying to just work work my height up here and, and get along the South Downs. So the trick here is to not uh, get pushed over the ridge. I've only got sort of 10 k's an hour forward speed if I'm flying around. So I'm waiting for the good thermals off these fields. You can see these fields in front of me here. That's kind of directly upwind of me. So by parking here, I should get regular thermals coming through. And I can also drift and just drift along the downs a bit. The downs off to my left. That's where we're aiming. And cool. Hey Neville, nice to see you. So that's where I've come from, somewhere over there. That's the town of Lewis and little clouds in the distance kind of the sea breeze is going to push in from that side later that's towards uh, Gatwick airport so I've got a couple of kilometers that I can fly that way and then I hit the airspace hey Ripman good to see you haven't seen you for a while my friend but then again I haven't been on YouTube much been busy in the studio. All right, what's the limit on that? Kind of there. So let's see if I can switch around. Switcheroo. There we go. <laughs> hey guys. So yeah, it's about, I don't know, two o'clock here, I suppose which means it's the peak time and I'm going to do like an one hour this way and then turn around and try and get back to where my van is. Um, part of my cunning plan here is I've got a train line in front of me so I can always use the train to get back somewhere near the hill. So that's my game plan is kind of fly out in the train line and then turn around at about three o'clock before things switch off and come back this way. So it's ah, it's just so nice to get into wahoo! <laughs> Proper spring conditions. <laughs> let's just stick you down there for a moment. Okay, let's see if I can give you yeah, I can give you a kind of a reflection. That's quite cool. Uh, I know I'm a little bit close. Um, sorry about the the angle, but that's the best we can do. Um, cool. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. So I'm going to just give you a reflection view at the moment because uh, this is the easiest for me to hold on to. <laughs> so you're stuck on my cockpit here. And um, I'm just going to try and find some lift first. Once I'm up and established then I can give you some more um, scenic tours of the South Downs. Excellent. So I'm, uh, I don't know, three, four hundred meters off the deck here. And that's a little bit of a climb. But it's kind of scratchy at the moment. You can really be quite patient to wait for the solid climbs. Oh. So when it's scrappy like this, just stay in um, one place and just keep pointing into wind. So whenever I go around in a little piece like that, then I point back into wind. And now I'm pointing directly into wind, just holding on, waiting for another strike on the same line. So yeah, I'm so high, you can see the world is curved. <laughs> uh, sorry about the snow. 
at saying 9, 3 meters a second. So this is the one we're onto. So let me just uh, concentrate for just a few seconds to get completely established in this core. Um, it makes such a difference when you get the throttle into the top. Uh, so um, yeah, give me a few minutes once I get up to altitude. I can then uh, give you a much nicer view. There we go. I seem to drop in and out of signal. So if I lose you guys, sorry, it's just the uh, mobile connection here. <laughs> no virus in the thermals, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, totally socially distanced up here. And a nice thing about this area is there's so many um, hiking trails. So I can always walk back to where I started and stay completely in the wilderness. So. Um, new stupor strike. Am I going to get one? <laughs> uh, yes, I probably will. Um, I'll probably do a review on it as well. I haven't got around to getting uh, in contact with Super yet, but I'll probably do that soon and see what they want. Um, I, I think it looks lovely. I'm, I'm so happy with the strike. I've had such a good time in it. I'm flying it right now. And uh, it, we're sort of averaging at uh, 2.1 now. Um, sorry, I have to keep on tapping the screen to get the live, <laughs> the live chat to come back. <laughs> oh, come on, technology. You can make live streaming. You know, it's a, a big section of the user profile. So, here is our little Vario. We've now lost the thermal. Messing around with live streaming equipment here I just lost it um, and there we go there's Lewis you can google Lewis and you should find it it's L-E-W-E-S that's in the south of England and uh, uh, South Downs and that's the south of England um, you might be able to find me on uh, uh, live.xcontest.org um, I am on uh, XE track so my track should be available right there uh, now I'm looking at my speed I've got 11 k's an hour I've got the wind slightly off to my right a little bit more speed there so that seems to be me topped out in that last little one There we go. So that's me topped out. Uh, I've got 350 meters to airspace. So that's probably good enough. And now I can do another little glide. So I'm sort of zigzagging along the South Downs. I'm trying to get to Devil's Dyke and uh, probably do a turn around there and then I don't drop the camera or something like that. Okay. So that's actually a lot better for me because now it's uh, really clear and it's a much brighter day. <laughs> so I'm going to switch around and give you that view again. Yeah, maybe I need a better phone. Uh, it would be better to have something with a much wider angle. Um, Let's see there. Yeah. This is a Samsung, uh, I don't know, S9, I suppose it is, something like that. It's pretty modern. But uh, it doesn't seem to stabilize video when you're live streaming. It's just using the raw camera of the, of the phone. There we go. That's a view down the South Downs. So that's where I'm heading and I can see somebody flying a ditchling which is kind of in the middle of the picture. So I'll keep an eye on him to, to get an idea of uh, what conditions are like. 
and maybe get some warning if there's lots of wind on the ridge but it looks fine it looks nice and I've got lots of nice uh, thermal triggers out in front here so it's got that uh, big farm complex and some fields around it that's a really good place to go and look for some lift especially the brown fields and uh, you can see my glide at the moment just pretty sinky and yeah okay what's live 50 you ask me <laughs> you see the code there written in there i thought i'd do something for you guys today um so let's see if i can switch the camera around and do it on this second camera setting which is that one which gives you a slightly wider angle okay so while i'm live streaming I thought I'd give you guys a discount if anybody wants to join Fly with Greg, my website. I do coaching all the time. There's a chat room. It's awesome. There's lots of detailed videos. So if you want to join me, um, if you put in live 50 while I'm live, that code will work. When I get home back home this evening, I'm going to switch the code off. So it's only while I'm live and if you guys want to sign up you get 50 percent off your first month so do a monthly membership and it'll knock 50 percent off i think it's 14.99 at the moment so it's like 750 or something like that so it's a cheap month and uh, it'll be awesome to see some of you guys in the chat room i can help you with your flying and you can watch all of the like detailed videos give you a month to like burn through the videos in anyway, right so uh, I'll give you the code again. Live 50. Pop that in and have some fun. Okay, so I'm coming up to this little trigger. My battery power is about to go. Thanks, Yolius. Really appreciate it. Okay, my battery is about to go. Um, I do have a cable here that I can connect in. Um, but I also don't want to lose the day so um, let me just get the charger in first like that okay we're in charge and I'm gonna see if we can stick you in the riser like that that should do for the moment so sorry about the seasickness <laughs> but I'm going to try and find a thermal now, so I'll just keep chatting away. I'll keep this live stream going while it's while it's running. Um, mustn't forget to get the charger to start charging. It might uh, I might lose you soon, but um, while it's on, let's play. So. I just hit a little strike of lift there and I chose to come out over the field because I think there's a better chance of finding good thermals out here rather than sitting on the ridge, the ridge being back there. So this gives me a bit of a better chance. It also makes it a lot easier to um, shift and move as the core shifts around because I'm not having to worry about terrain. Oh, I can see that's quite a nasty picture for you guys, so I'll put it back on. The pod for the moment and get the picture around there we go and you can have that for you again right we've got 2.2 meters a second and what have we got on the drift 20 k's an hour on the drift and I'm straight over that farm that I was showing you 
So it's pretty simple. I'm not really rocket science. What I'm doing is just flying to the most likely places for thermals. I don't know that there's a thermal there, but it just increases my hit rate. So that gives me a chance to stay in the air on average.